Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. So in this lecture, let us go through Lexer tool guys. So basically Lexer tool is the one which helps us to write a code and convert it into a lexical analysis guys, analyzer guys. So basically lexical analyzers cannot be written directly easily. So that is the reason why this is a tool which we will be using. So basically this lex, lex tool or lex language you can say has a particular syntactic structure which we will be following and we will be achieving our requirement guys. Okay. Okay. So lex tool. Lex tool or lex is a tool or a language which is useful for generating the lexical analyzer. Okay. So lexical analyzer specifies regular expressions. Guys, this is the reason why I told you to recall or revise the regular expressions once. Okay. So and regular expressions are used to represent the patterns of the tokens. Okay. So basically patterns of the tokens are nothing but you can represent with the help of DFA. Right. Yes. So that is the reason why the lexical analysis, the whole process can be achieved with the help of the finite automata guys. Okay. Okay. So the process will be in this way guys. Like if you can say the execution also. So the execution steps will also be in this way. So the lexical or the lex source program will be assume that file name dot L, the extension for it is L. So once you pass it into the lex compiler, it will be converting it into lex dot yy dot C. Okay, so now it is a C file, right? So now you can directly compile it. So lex.yy.c, you can compile it to get a.out file. So this is nothing but our lexical analyzer. So once you give the input string to this a.out, you'll be getting the tokens, guys. So this is the whole process, guys. Okay, so the same process I have written in English, guys. So in our own words, okay. So lex.x is, sorry, dot .l is a lex language file. When given as input to a lex compiler, is generate it generates lex.yy.c which is a c code now lex.yy.c is a code when given as an input to c compiler it generates a dot out as an output object object file a dot out an object file which is a nothing but the lexical analyzer okay so that's what we have explained there similarly lexical analyzer takes input stream as an input and output sequence output sequences of tokens okay Yes. So now we discussed about lexicode and all those things, right? So now you are confused that, okay, what is this lexicode now? So how you can write a code in lex? What is this language? First of all, you're confused, right? Yes. So first let us go through the structure and then I'll be taking an example guys. So that will be clear for you. Okay. So structure of lex program. So we are having three blocks. You can say declaration, translation rules and auxiliary functions. So declaration is nothing but where you'll be declaring the uh, variables and all those things. Header, you'll be including header files, variables and all those things. Translation rules are nothing but some kind of patterns we discussed, right? So we'll be writing regular expressions with respect to patterns and all those things that are nothing but the transition rules and auxiliary functions are nothing but our user defined functions. What to do? Okay. So declaration. Declaration. Remember guys, I hope everyone at least learned these concepts at least once guys because these concepts will be a bit confusing while you are learning it for first time so declaration will be enclosed in this way guys okay so the whole declaration code will be written here in this way percentage flower bracket open the code percentage flower bracket close so this might sound a bit funny or confusing guys so that's the reason why i'm saying you to concentrate okay so used mainly for declaring C variables or constants, even header files also you can write. Okay. So percentage open bracket into a comma B float X equal to 10 percentage close bracket. So in this way, the declaration is done. Similarly, translation rules. I told you, right? So these are some kind of rules like based on the pattern, what action you should do. Okay. So each rule specified in the particular format, that is nothing but pattern. So this pattern is nothing but our regular expression. Okay, so if this regular expression is uh, satisfied, then you will be doing the particular action. So this is nothing but the transition rules. Okay, so remember that the transition rules are starting with the percentage percentage and ending with percentage percentage in between you will be writing all the rules. Okay, clear? Yes. Okay, so auxiliary function. So auxiliary functions, as I told you, these are nothing but additional functions, which are not mandatory guys. That's the main thing that you should remember. These are optional. Okay. Okay, so let us go through the structure. That is nothing but declarations like all the declarations, percentage, percentage, transition rules, percentage, percentage, auxiliary functions. Okay. Okay. So this is our lab program, guys. So we did this, we did this in our lab. 
Okay, so that's the reason why I have written the same example. So program to capitalize the given comments using Lex. Okay, so you need to do this process. Okay, so initially you need some header files for this ash include studio.h ash include c type.h. Okay, so int k void display car star. So this you are just defining a function, you are giving its type and all those things. Okay, then you have defined everything whatever is required. Okay, so then you are writing a letter a to z com slash slash. So this is nothing but you are defining them. So A to Z all are nothing but letters and slash slash is nothing but COM. That is nothing but comment. So percentage percentage inside percentage percentage you are writing the rules. So com you are initializing the value of K is equals to 1. So assume that K is nothing but the comment guys. I think if we wrote a C that will be better right. Okay so let us update it because uh, comment start with C right not with K. Okay yes. So this is better. Okay so com c is equals to 1 letter if c double is equals to 1 display yy dot lex so basically you need to remember one thing guys so whatever input you are giving with the with along with the compilation dot, dot slash a dot out if you are giving any kind of information that information will be stored in a long array of yy text guys so basically if you want the second value that is nothing but yy text flower sorry square brackets so two you'll be getting the sec third value so in that way you can get guys okay so that's the reason why we are specifying display yy text okay so percentage percentage main so please remember that this loop or this sorry this function is mandatory guys so main yy lex so this is where the execution starts okay and avoid display car star so basically to display you need to convert it into capital letters right so int i for of i equal to 0, s of i not equals to end of string. So, slash 0 is nothing but the end of the string, guys. So, i plus plus. Print f percentage c to upper, s of i. So, basically, this string, whatever you wrote, h-e-l-l-o, is converted into h-e-l-l-o, guys. So, in this way. It's clear, right? Yes. Okay. And at the end, you will be stopping it. So, this is nothing but y y wrap return 1 is nothing but. So, whenever the execution is done, it will be stopping. Okay. So input slash slash test. So output we got all caps caps test. So in this way it works, guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on Lex, right? So Lex tool, right? So this is a sample code, guys. So for more examples on code, you can check our manual, guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be starting the second unit, guys. So the second unit is all about the context free grammar and parsing guys that is nothing but top down parsing and at the third unit we'll be discussing about bottom up parsing okay okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching